Wrong button. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm Flinger, and uh, yeah, I've been playing Ark for a really long time. So I figured, you know what? What would be really, really fun a little aspect to add to this game? Well, I think making everything random. I mean, honestly, having random goals set out for the video, so where me using whatever, you know, going towards a goal that is randomly assigned to me, I think could be wicked fun. And in the order of a, uh, spinning the wheel of randomness. Yeah, I think that could be really awesome. So we're actually gonna kind of just start out as a, uh, new level one, and we're gonna let it kind of decide what we're gonna do. All right, so now that we've got the character created because we're just gonna make Flinger, now we're gonna decide where we're going to spawn at. So we're gonna uh, spin the wheel, it's gonna be one, or we're gonna go from left all the way to the right. So we're gonna be going counterclockwise. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, let's get this wheel spinning and let's figure out where we're going to be. Spawn point three. Okay, let's do this. All right, spawn point three. Let's do this. Are you the one I've been waiting for? Sure. <laughs> I don't think you know what's in I for you. So. Let's do this. Ah, the lovely island. Looks so pretty nowadays. A baby trico? No, that's a Lystrosaurus. Okay. All right. So here we are. What are we doing? All right. We got a trike over here, and I think he may want to join us, and also apparently a trilobite. So hey, you guys want to join us for our first wheel spin? Let's see what all we what. Let's see what happens. I mean, because you just never know. Oh, did we get it? We got King Fu. All right. So that's what we're doing. So today, the Fu, we need to find one. We need to tame one. And we need to make sure that he knows he is the king of the island. Now, this is going to be the theme going, fo going forward. It was very important on this first episode what kind of uh, plan we had going. But... We're doing King Fu. So we've got to tame a Fu, and we've got to build him a place, at least where he can start being the king as he goes forward. And this place will definitely be getting upgraded as we go. All right, so let's get started. All right, well, let's get started. Let's uh, get some berries and stuff, because this is one heck of a journey we've got to do today. All right, and um, while I'm not spinning, while we're deciding everything, I'm just going to be playing Ark like normal, because I've been playing this game for a long time, and, I mean, honestly, I know how to play it quite a, quite well. So, uh, yeah, when, uh, but whenever we have a decision that we have to make, we are going to either spin the wheel, and, or we are going to roll dice. One of the two. All depends. So, yeah. <laughs> we never know what could happen. We could be like, oh, hey, this trike is amazing. Are we going to tame it? I don't know. Let's spin the wheel. All right, uh, well, actually, more decisions like that will be more roll of the dice. But these ones right here, you know, determining what the course of the video is going to be. That's, uh... We got a couple levels here. Let's go Fortitude, because I know we're going to need it. Because... Winter Snaps and Cold Snaps are absolutely a thing that will just take you out, just mercilessly. So we're gonna make sure we've got plenty of that stuff. All right, so let's see. Uh, weapons, uh, primitive, melee. Oh, we're missing stone. There's stone out here. There's a stone. <laughs> Nailed it. And we even gained a level by picking up that stone. Okay, cool. Uh, crafting, bam. And then that right there, we'll, we'll need uh, flint to craft the other stuff. OK. 
crafting, hatchet. What are we needing for that? We're needing more wood. And we're just going through the standard progression right now. Craft the pick to get the um the fiber, craft the um or craft the pick to get the flint, use the flint to make the hatchet, use the hatchet to get the wood to make the spears. And apparently we need more fiber. All right. So, let's see. And also we need to make sure we get plenty of measure berries cuz we're going to have we're going to have to get a food today. All right, and I just hope that there's one spawned up there. If not, then we're going to have to go looking elsewhere. But luckily, we are in a pretty good spot being this right here because when it comes to foos, uh foos are generally I mean, you can find them right here, sometimes out here on this. You can find them right here. Once in a while, they're kind of uncommon down here. You can find them over here, right here. A lot of the times you can find them right here as well. Mostly in the jungle, on the edge of the jungle is a really good spot to find them. But they spawn, yeah, this is a good spot for them to spawn right around here. Not so much over here, right up here. But then in these jungles, they do spawn right there. But up here, not as much. But up there, that's more, you know... Uh, Saber Tooth, Dire Wolf, Argent, Carno kind of stuff right there. So even if they do spawn right there, chance of you finding them is very slim. But yeah. Is that you, Mr. Trike? Alright. Alright, do we have enough to make some spears? Spears are going to be very handy for us. Alright, and also. We're also going to have to build him something. All right, and we we have enough to actually start learning some. All right, so let's let's get prepared for the King Fu. Let's get some thatch. Storage. I think storage boxes are going to be kind of important as well. Maybe a sleeping bag, although sleeping bag is dependent on hide, so I'm not sure how that's going to happen. But now we need to go look for uh, the perfect spot for the coming of the uh, Fu King. Let's go. That actually kind of looks like a good spot. I mean, if we could build... Whoa! That is a lot of seagull. And that's a spino. <laughs> All right. So that's happening just now. All right. No mantas in here. I will take this. Thank you. We get free fish dinner. <laughs> it's a fish fry. Me. Well, let's just use a pick. Because you can't get hide from it anyway. May as well get as much fish meat as we can. Can we get up on that? Yes. This will be the perfect place for the first throne of the foo. I'm just saying. Alright, uh, let's see. Now we need. Well, we need stuff to build it, actually. I mean, if we if we've got the place. We needed the stuff to build it. Let's see, so crafting uh, here, there, there, uh, structures. Oh, that's storage. Okay, thatch. One, two, three. Ha ha ha! Three of them. Okay. And do we want him? We want him overlooking his island. Yes. So, uh, we're going to need another one so we can just put one right here because this is where the throne's going to be. The storage box throne. I think that's about all we can do there. Uh, let's see, what are we missing? Uh, we're missing thatch. Okay, well, let's get our butt back over here. Hello! Uh, nothing like a wonderful day of jumping onto the nice, sharp coral. I wonder 
sure if this duck's upset that I stole his fish. Eh, huh, you never know. Besides, I think he'll get over it. Let's get some thatch. Also, we're going to need tiki torches. Tiki torches are definitely a thing. But I was I was thinking up everything that we we're going to be doing, and it's like tiki torches actually had a place in like four of the different things that were on there. So, that happened. That wood, storage. All right, we need two more of these. All right, fiber and wood. All right, and it's a lot of fiber, or a lot of wood too. All right. And sometimes, as we get going through this, um, depending on how well you guys like this, uh, it's just going to determine how long I do this and also how long I'm having fun. Really, that's one of the things. How long I'm having fun. Uh, so, yeah, if uh, when we get further on in uh, the series, it's like, hey, what are we going to be doing today? Well, we could go tame a Thilo. We could tame a Carno. No, we could drop all that and put everything towards uh, uh, Broodmother boss kill stuff. We could uh, oh go out and decide it's time to just uh, set up a metal refinery, do a bunch of base building, add to the base, uh, go uh, dive into underwater. It's where we have to go tame a Megalodon and start eating all the local uh, underwater life. You know, that kind of stuff. Just the typical things that Ark Survivors do. Oh, we need to I think it's about time we actually ate something. All right, also, I think I'm probably going to want to keep those, but we definitely need to keep the uh, um, measure berries. Oh, while we're here, um, let's see. We need to craft... Yeah, we just don't have any hide. Uh, we need to craft this. Just in case. All right, let's get some stone here really quick. Actually, you know what? We'll get stone as a byproduct of flint because we're going to need flint. And there's our level. That is this Tiki Torch level? I have a feeling this is Tiki Torch level. Let's get some weight. Yeah, Tiki Torch. All right, let's see. Uh, so uh, we're definitely also going to have to craft some more of those. We've got that. What is it for torches? We got two of them. Two tiki torches is what we've got. All right, so let's get over here and let's uh, prepare this area for the very first throne. I mean, the throne's definitely going to be upgraded. And I'm kind of glad that this was the first one that we had because uh, I, I had some really good ideas for this. You guys see what I'm seeing? That's a duck egg, isn't it? I'm not sure I want a duck mad at me right now. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, wrong button. There we go. Pick that. Actually, you know what? I just want to destroy that because we don't even need that. We just need the resources. Suck it. All right. Uh, let's see. Crafting. Uh, we need more thatch stuff. We need ramps. There we go. And eventually, I mean, honestly, this, this throne area is definitely going to um, be upgraded as we go. There we go. All right. And the tiki torches. Um. It's not the best throne, but it's a beginning throne, and it will actually get better and better as we go. All right, let's go get the rest of the thatch for the, uh, um... For the ramp going up, and then we have to go see if we, we... We have to go find a food. That is a thing that has to happen today. No matter where we go on the island, I mean, we have to find a food, and it has to be alive, and we bring it back here. And then show him his, um, throne. This is something we have to do. All right. Ooh, you know, the stairs look good. But I do think that 
the roof, it's got just more of a regal texture to it. It gives more... Now, nah, we'll go stairs. Just because I love the look of the bamboo stairs for the thatch. That is absolutely cool. All right. Uh, do we actually have enough stuff left over from that to uh, make ourselves some clothing? You know, I, I was so worried about just getting the foo stuff up and going. Crafting. Uh... Yes. <laughs> so now we've got 30 points of protection. All right, now we got to go see if we can go get ourselves a little bit of hide. Oh, That's a work. Hey, dude. All right, so that's 11. Dillo's a... Oh... <laughs> that guy could ruin me. You know, we could always just... I mean, we've got some storage boxes back there, but they, they are part of the throne. We could lure that guy away. Come here, glossy butt. Come here. Oh, you're running. Wow, that guy ran far. He's like, you know what? I'm going to go do a lap, and then I'm going to come back and kick your butt. Oh, really? Were you, like, trying to lure me in or something? Was that what was going on? All right, so do we have enough to actually make a sleeping bag or a bed? Yeah, I see the uh, dudes over. Yep, we can make a bed. All right, awesome. All right, let's run back. Okay, another foundation set over, a, a, of course, on a secondary island because there's no way that we could put, you know, our meager thing on the Foo's little island. I mean, that's that's just not a thing, which means we're going to need another foundation. I, I probably should have kept that one foundation. Oh, there we go. All right, so our meager shack is going to be on the on the other island. All right, so Foo's area is over there. Our area will be right here. And we pooped on it, so we claimed it. That's how this works. All right. I think we are ready to go see if we can go find ourselves a Foo. Let's put all of this right there. Uh, let's empty off a bunch of stuff into the uh, storage box uh, throne. That is just a temporary placeholder until we level up and we can actually build Fu a proper throne. Because he's going to be yelling at us the whole time until we actually uh, get this up and going. And to anybody that doesn't know, a Fu is a monkey. So that's what we're looking for right now. Also, I want to put this in. He needs to have, you know. That's right there. And, you know, we could get another one right there. Oh, that would be great. All right, do we have enough to actually craft that? We do not. We're going to have to come back with more thatch and wood. All right. Okay, let's see if we can actually venture up there and go see if... Hopefully, we can find ourselves a Mesopithecus. Oh, hey, Dodo Egg. Nice. All right, let's see if we can get up here and find one. Oh, Hello. Man. Now, if it, we don't find one here, we're going to have to find one in other places. It's a good thing we got the bed down, though. All right, now we're listening for the, the telltale pitter-patter of fooey feet. There's some trikes down there. Oh, a bunch of baby trikes. Is that a baby turtle? 
It is. That's a baby turtle. Oh, man, that's so cute. All right. But anyway, foos. Are you here, foo? Let's listen. Nope, not here. What about in these runes? Nope, not in here. What about the middle of the jungle? Nothing. That's a bamboo? Nope. Hey, Mr. Dodo. Have you seen anything of the uh, the monkey variety around here? That would be very helpful for me. You see, I'm on like this mission, and I, I really can't deter from the mission. Can you help me? Okay, that would be a no. Okay, now that's pretty. Is the way the light's coming through there. Is there a foo around here? Cause that would be that would be amazing. It's just like oh, yeah. No foo. You had one chance and you messed it up. All right, all right. Hold up, I heard something. Do you guys hear it? I was just running away and I heard that. That's a foo. <gasps> it is. Oh my gosh, we got a foo! We got it! We got it! All right, now we can track it. Come on, Mr. F or Mrs. Foo. I've got a throne built for you. It's not the best throne, but it's gonna be an amazing throne, and you're gonna love it. I'm not sure if I'll, I can get close enough to you. Right here, hold on. Come on. Okay, now this is a tricky one. There we go. Whew. All right, get back. All right, you're going to love the throne. It's amazing. Yeah, it's got like a box and a fire and a couple other fires and like some tiki torches. Yeah, it's amazing. Did you just poop at the thought of my throne? My throne is amazing. You're going to love it, all right? And there she goes! Queen Foo. Alright, come on, Foo. Let's see if we can get you over here without dying. <laughs> I've got a perfect place for you. Ah. Let's do this. Please, those spinos down below. That would be really bad. All right, so as I was saying, um, Mrs. Fu or Queen Fu um, or my queen, that um, yeah, there's uh, there's this place I built for you. We, it's like we foretold your coming here. Yes, it was because of a giant wheel that we had to spin, and it said yes, it, we were going to be meeting today. And then I uh, was lured in to this very really big uh, bright light that was coming through the jungle, and it was like oh. Hey, you know, there's something here. And I thought there was nothing there. And then I heard you. And then there was something there. I know the story is a little bit weird, but you know, it it's it leads me to this crevasse right here. All right. And then the bottom the I mean the long and the short of it is, I mean, if you look from up here, you can behold your kingdom down below. <laughs> All right, now we're going this way just in case. If that Spino has made his way a little bit further down. Oh, he's just kind of claimed his dominance right there. Hello. That was a bit weird to go running down that side. All right. We're going to need a whole bunch of wood, though. Uh, Fu, uh, can you excuse me for one sec? I just need to get a bunch of wood. Um, no, no. See, there's these things over there. They're, they're called torches. They require fire or wood. And for us to light them up. Oh, you're going to love it. It's amazing. See? You've already got pteranodons that are coming into your area. Alright, Mr. Tron. Wow, you're a 130 pteranodon. Well, you know, get out of here. Alright? I haven't spun the wheel on you yet. 
You're not even on the wheel yet. Come back here when you're on the wheel. I mean, I could use a 130 eventually. All right, so. Oh, uh, no. Dang it. All right, let's load this up. You know, let's just throw all that in there. All right. Here you go, Queen Fu. Let's light up your torches and your campfires. And, you know, let's cook a little bit of food while we're at it. You don't... You just didn't see... It's... I'll throw some berries on there as well. Oh, you also need some berries. You need quite a bit of berries. Actually, you need all the berries. There you go. And also an egg. There you go. All right. So... Wow. All right. So, hey, I hope you guys are enjoying this this entire concept because this is something I have never done, but I've always wanted to do. So, hey, um, uh, down below in the comment section, if you guys can think of things that we could add to the wheel as we're going, because that wheel is constantly going to be evolving. There's going to be multiple wheels going as well. And just to determine what we do, how we do it, and if we even want to do it. All right. So, yeah, if you guys have any additions to the wheel, leave them down below. If you guys like it, uh, leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And also, share if you really enjoy the video, share it with your friends. That's really how uh, we spread out to, uh, to other people is via sharing. And so that happened just now. All right, this bird is going to have to uh, die here soon. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. Until next time, this is Flinger, and take it easy. Did you really just take that? Really?